This video is an addition to the pencil sketch effect video by David Brin. Here we will add haze and clouds. I start with this scene which has all materials simply set to the generic material which is nothing. Here specular halo is at maximum and reflection is also at maximum. This is exactly how David's video describes and as for the render options we have premium render with blurry reflections and 36 rays per pixel. I've also reduced the maximum ray depth to 3 though this is nothing really important it's just to speed up the render a tiny bit. So looking at this pencil sketch of this landscape we somehow miss any clues to the distance. We think this mountain is nearer than this one or this one. So what we're going to do, the first thing, we switch on some haze. Just take it as it comes and do a small render. We do get the haze here. This mountain seems to be more distant than this one, but everything is blue. This is partly because we have the custom sky on. We need to have the custom sky on because we have haze here. So in order to get everything black and white we use the color perspective. Now does this help us? Yes, it gets even bluer. So this is not it. So we set the color perspective to fully maximum, 100% each color. Have a test render. Oh, now there's so much haze that we don't see the second and the third mountain. So we have to reduce here. Just let's have a look what's going on. It's even worse. No, perhaps not. Because we can see the second mountain a little bit. So what we have to do is really to find adjust these values. And I found out that we have with these settings about what I expected to become. So this is the nearest mountain. This one is a little bit farther away. And this is quite far away. There is no blue in it. It's really all black and white or black and gray. Now, if we reduce the color perspective to a tenth, so 10, 10, 10, then we can go up here tenfold and have approximately the same effect. Though we can notice that a little bit of blue comes in here already. So it's the easiest thing to put the color perspective to max and lower haze density and haze thickness. And this is about what we like to have. Now that much for haze. As you see the preview is not of great help at all. But just to show you what happens if we change the color perspective to only red. Now we can see the influence of the color perspective. The farther away, the redder it gets. And just in case you have never really experimented with these settings. Usually in a normal scene you would use very few percentages for the color perspective. So next thing we are going to do is to add clouds. I use cumulus and oh, we can see something in the preview now. That's cool. Let's render. And the first thing we notice is that we do not have these bright parts here. The sky is the brighter thing and the clouds reduce the brightness or the reflection that comes onto the mountain. You can see this if we go down with the amplitude really low, it gets brighter. And this is also what happens. It gets brighter. We've just took the cumulus that came in by default. When clicking on edit, we get in the DTE. And from here, we can access the textures library. I just select this one and switch off color and bump because for the clouds only the alpha channel is used. Of course, we can use any other type of noise we wish. I just took this one, it's also just default. And we're coming back, looking at this and well, it looks a bit busy in the sky. So we have to adjust here a little bit. We reduce the cover. 
we leave the height, we reduce the frequency to make the clouds larger and for the amplitude we stay relatively low and we get clouds that could be pencil sketched. If we move up the amplitude then we get a little bit more detail into the clouds if we wish that. The scene takes about five minutes to render in this size so I'll stop the video and show you the result. So this is what we finally got from our render. Let's see from where we started. We started from here with the mountains brighter, particularly those parts are really completely white with a white sky, but we have no clue about the distance. With what we've done, it got a bit more contrast, a bit less bright, but we have a clue about how far away the mountains are. We have some clouds. This all has been rendered with 36 rays per pixel and if we have a look the clouds are a little bit different here but this has been rendered with 144 rays per pixel. No, even by uh, 256 so that's the maximum. Just to tell you doubling the value here also doubles about the render time. So if we go from 16 to 64 this will quadruple the render time and from 64 to 256 it will quadruple one more time. So that about wraps it up for this. Perhaps you will think that's a good idea to add haze and even clouds to a pencil sketch.